Actually, when it comes to medical treatment, so when it comes to going to a hospital, patients would normally think that doctors are more important, doctors are making the decisions, nurses are only assisting, and they don't get the credit quite so much. And so I want to ask, what are some misconceptions about nursing professions that you feel like you can clear for us so that our listeners would have a better understanding on the exact role nurses are playing in medical decisions and medical treatment? One way, we are the sister of the doctors mm. because doctors make a medical decision and we put those decisions into practice. But at the same time, because m nurses are the mm, health professionals who spend the most of time with the patient, so they got more idea what really it is and whether the plan we, we know plan is plan and mm -hmm. fact is fact. Whether the plan can um, satisfy the patient's individual needs because nurses they spend the time with the patient, so they connect information. And they know something about the patients, even patients, and don't do not realize. So they will give those feedback to the doctor. Mm. And then they will discuss whether we need to change the plan. Yeah? Mm. We will adjust the plan based on the individual needs. As we all know, every people with like uh, chronic illness might have a potential to know the importance of taking the medication according to the prescription. Mm. But more than half of them cannot follow this. So what why? And then doctors are so busy to do they do not know why the patient do not follow that follow prescription. Mm. But nurses they spend time with the patient. They know why and they, they observe, they know and they chat with the patient. Mm. They find the reason behind that. And then they tell the the doctors. And also we know that uh, different patients, they have mm, different response to the medication. Mm. The patient take the medication. If there are any side effects, whether the, the medication is effective, the doctors maybe do not know in time, but we know it immediately. And we also know that patients sometimes do not realize what happened, but a nurse knows. So when nurse connects all the kind of info information, Normally, they will make a decision, and uh, they, they have their idea, and mm. they also chat with the um, doctors or therapists about the patients, and then they will adjust the treatment. Yeah. They, they, they also do very, uh, a lot of, um, how to say, they work like mm. perform physical exams, go to water signs, yeah, and uh, they also communicate with the families and caregivers. Mm. Yeah. And also because we know, uh, uh, especially doctors are so busy, they have some uh, some information. They just tell the patient. And the patient, uh, especially for the patient who get the diagnosis the first time, they don't are understand. So, yeah, they, they, they just like, oh, I got an illness. And what is the illness is? And what is the medication? Mm. They already do not have the time to accept the information mm. or receive the information. But after that certain time, the, the nurse can communicate with the patient what the illness is, is and what does the treatment mean, yeah? Mm -hmm. So they can explain. And for, like, for the patient with schizophrenia, mm -hmm. normally when they are in the second Shanghai hospital because it's famous for the mental health, mm -hmm. the patient is there, they do not have in, in, insight about their illness. So our nurse has to communicate with their family caregivers. That's Niu Hongliang speaking with Dr. Huang Chongmei, lecturer of the Xiangya School of Nursing at Central South University. So Josh, after listening to that Q&A session as such, what's the biggest takeaway for you? It seems that there's a lot of serious issues that are facing nurses these days, and I think that there's a lot of quite clear issues as to why there's a shortage of nurses, I think, globally, worldwide, not just in China, because a lot of the reasons that I've also found that exist, reasons as to why nurses are in short supply in the United Kingdom, in the US, in Europe, are quite similar to some of the reasons that were given. But it was quite eye-opening and uh, amazing to hear these stories. I think that there needs to be serious effort that's put into solving these, these issues. Uh, we've, we've talked so much on these shows about 
issues in the medical industry in general with a shortage of nurses, doctors in specific professions. Um, and I think that it's really important that not just on this Nurses Day, uh, International Nursing Day, to, to talk about this, but actually to try and address this issue um, more, more broadly from throughout the whole year. Yeah, first of all, is that we can know from the statistics that Dr. Huang just said there is a huge gap between the number of um, nurses in China and the world, right? I assume there is still a huge space for the development of uh, nursing in China. And also what is delighting me that is um, we really need these kind of professional staff to tell us that the difference between nurses and doctors, because we do have that kind of stereotype that nurses just doing some assisting work for doctors, but actually they are the one that really know the situation of the, all of these patients and uh, they can have the first time information for the doctors. So they are actually have the same position with doctors and they're as important as doctors to the patients.